Sasha, tell us how you're feeling. I mean, it's hot. Uh, my legs feel pretty beat up. I mean, 20 days to prepare for a marathon is really tough. You know, I was aiming for the Toronto know. waterfront, so I started my build about two weeks before. And as most of you know, I've been struggling with my hormones. And so uh, it was less about like the fatigue and I just felt battered. And I think that's normal when you're not prepared for a marathon. I had the time of my life out there. The crowds were amazing. I danced at every station. I smiled at everybody. I waved, I blew kisses. I won the party. <laughs> Uh, obviously, in 2019, disappointment for DNFing and just the finish today. And, and like again, I think you set a record for most high fives given yeah, over 42k. For sure. uh, what does that mean to you? Uh, this means a lot. Um, you know, I think Tash, Melindy, myself, Lindsay Tessier on the American side, Pierre D'Amato, Sarah Hall, we're showing the world that you can do things differently. And there was this expectation of progression. And we know that women's physiology, female physiology, is a little bit different. And to be here, to earn my spot, to deserve to be here, I hope that it inspires everybody who's never run a marathon to everybody who's running to go out and test themselves because you never know what's possible. Because I'm here. Why'd you say yes to the opportunity on such short notice? Why would you say no? Yeah. Uh, the opportunity to be here, I mean, you don't get these often. And anytime I think a team comes knocking, you say yes. Because what if I had the day of my life out there and I finished in the top 20 and I wanted to give myself the chance to do that? Yeah. How difficult was it? I mean, just like in that second half. Um, in all honesty, it got really hard at 30K, which is like normal for a marathon. Um, the heat actually was not nearly as bad as I thought. I think um, the course did a really good job with ice um, and everything else. Maddie Orr, shout out to the sustainability office. They picked a course in the shade. So even coming home in that last 5K, you are predominantly in the shade. And it made all of the difference. What are you thinking when you're in the shade and then you see a patch of sunlight up ahead? Like, is it just like, oh no, all right, let me get through that as quick as possible? So interestingly enough, when it was really sunny, the crowds were the best, <laughs> right? And so you were kind of, I was always like looking ahead to run the tangents, the engineer in me always comes out. And so on all honesty, I didn't, like when I saw the sun, it was like, Ugh, oh my gosh. Like I didn't even notice it. There was way more shade on that course than sun. And that tunnel, that uphill tunnel, was like the best. There was wind, it was shaded. And you're like, oh, I'm doing hill sprints, but it's cooler. There you go. Eternal optimist here. Eternal optimist. Too Appreciate much energy. <laughs>